South Point is currently off limits. You'll need to keep back for your own safety. The citizens of South Point are killing each other in the streets. It's... I've seen nothing like it. Captain Alanthor may need help evacuating survivors. You'll find him by the road, outside the town. Turn back, citizen. South Point is... I don't know what to call it exactly. I sent three of my best scouts into South Point to answer that very question, but none returned. Until I know their fates, I can't request reinforcements. But I won't send anyone else inside until I know what happened to my scouts. You see my predicament. I certainly won't stop you. One of South Point's citizens also offered to help find the scouts, but she seemed a bit eccentric. Perhaps she has something to offer beyond alarming theories? You should know, Dereneth has some sort of position in Elden Root. Seems to think her reputation precedes her. No need to kiss the hem of her robes, but she's far less prickly if you show her some respect. Last I saw Dereneth, she was taking shelter in one of the tents. I could do without this damnable rain. It's been storming since we arrived. It shows no sign of letting up. Ask what you will. I don't care to speculate. I can only act upon what I know. It's apparent that the townsfolk have caused harm to themselves and others within South Point. Yes, it seems they've all gone mad. But until I know for certain, all I can do is hope to contain it. Strange reports arrived in Elden Root a week ago. Little things, people acting oddly. But when a South Point guard delivered his own severed tongue to the Altmer Embassy, someone noticed. If we weren't spread so thin, we'd have been here earlier. General Endari pulled her entire company from the Haven and left for parts unknown. In her absence, we filled the gaps. I tried to commandeer forces from the Grey Mire, but the Thalmor Inner Council considers Argonian refugees a greater threat in their wisdom. Centuries ago, it was an Imperial stronghold, but now it's known as a sleepy coastal town with a big cathedral. You'll find mostly Colovians who've been here for generations, and a handful of Wood Elves who don't pay much heed to the Green Pact. Did someone call my name? Captain Alanthor sent you to mock me. Did you come to tell me I don't know the work of a Daedric prince when I see one? Isn't it obvious? Madness swept through South Point like a plague, and so quickly. Only one Daedric prince has such power. No, it's... Wait, yes, that's it exactly. The Daedric prince of madness himself, here in South Point. It's all rather exciting, isn't it? I'm exceptionally concerned. It is my home, after all. Was I'd rather show my concern by doing something about the problem. The captain wanted to find his scouts, didn't he? We should get going. Of course, you need someone who knows the town, and I need someone with whom to take a stroll in this lovely rain. No use arguing, I've been getting my way since before you were born. Or do you want a sweet old woman to show more courage than you? Yes, what of it? Actually, I'm needed in South Point. Unless the Queen prefers it left to the whims of a Daedric Prince, she can wait. Dangerous. We should check the homes, be neighborly, see if those inside know where the scouts are. Hmm, no scout. And I do hope that smell came out of an animal. South Point was such a grimy place. The new mayor is really cleaning things up, don't you agree? 
killing? Oh, do you mean the cleaning brigades? Don't you worry about them. They're simply doing what they must to make South Point sparkle. Oh no, I can't leave my home until it's entirely clean. Besides, the mayor said none of us can leave, and we all know what happens when we don't listen to the mayor. You're trussed up or you're thrown in the catacombs. Either way, you deserve it for disobeying the mayor. He's a just man, a righteous man. We should heed his words, every one of them. Dominion? South Point is no longer part of the Dominion. The mayor decreed it. If Dominion scouts marched their muddy boots onto our streets, we'd truss them all up. scouts here, just my neighbor. Although this is certainly an interesting arrangement. The fire warms us when we're cold, but burns us when we're close. No matter how much you feed it, its hunger never ends. The fire is sublime. I am blind to all but the fire. It consumed my eyes and my thoughts, for I was jealous of its power. Not for myself, but it forgives as it consumes, and soon it will forgive me. I do apologize, but I can't speak right now. I must prepare the beds for their arrival. The eight divines, of course. I won't be caught with unmade beds. It's not time yet. The mayor said you can't eat me until dinner. Praise Arke. This entire town has gone mad. We should have informed Captain Elonthor immediately, but I insisted we press on. If we'd fallen back, maybe my scouts would still be inside. The mad people brought us to their mayor. I don't know how he did it, but he turned my scouts into bears. Bears! I thought he'd do the same to me, but he changed his mind. Said the town folks should have me for dinner. He locked himself in that big cathedral, saw the doors flare up briefly, glowing as bright as the sky, and then it faded. Magic keeps him shut, I'm sure of it. I've had enough of this place. Please untie me. I need to warn Captain Alonso. I'm getting out of here. I recommend you do the same. This mayor seems a charming fellow. We should decide what must be done about him. Soldiers turned into bears. People setting themselves on fire? 
and now a mad mayor locked in a cathedral. I know I should be horrified, but it all sounds so exciting. Hmm. Well, I suppose I can reverse the effects of the mayor's magic. After many, many years of honing my craft, this should be a simple matter. But if we're hunting bears, I'll need you to be the bait. I'm an old woman, and such magic requires precision. Wrestling with bears impedes precision. Slap them about their faces, throw sticks at them, call them harsh names, however you must. Keep their attention while I do the complex part. I have an old scroll tucked away in my basement laboratory. If we have it in hand, it won't matter how tightly he's locked that cathedral door. But first, we should rid South Point of its bear problem. Shall we? from me. This town is broken. Flee while you can. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Now let's head to my laboratory. We'll need that scroll to get into the cathedral. make it inside my laboratory unless we stop the lightning. If someone conjured this storm, they do it from somewhere they could see everything in South Point. There's an old Colovian tower nearby. It's the highest point in the town. 
aside from the cathedral. I have plenty to go around! You get the lightning! Now you get the lightning! What are you doing here? I don't know you. So what if I am? They called me an angry drunk, said I'd never amount to anything. Now I have the lightning, and I'll give it to anyone who makes me mad. Shut your mouth and walk away, or you'll get the lightning, just like all the others. I don't need to listen to this. I'll show you, like I did them. Nobody pushes Rufinus around! Think you can talk down to me? I'll roast you on a lightning spit. Your lungs will fry so fast they pop like kernels in a skillet. I'll make your eyes burst out of your face. You aren't better than me! What are you talking about? You're right. You're absolutely right. I pushed everyone away and then hated them for leaving me behind. Thank you for helping me realize I'm the source of my own problems. <laughs> Sorry, I... Ah, oh, yes, it's on my desk. Yes, over there. Do you see it? Let's head to the cathedral. We're the last people the mayor will expect.
Wait, I recognize him. Let me see if I can talk some sense into him. Who's there? How did you get in? Go. I want to be alone. Don't you recognize me, Mayor Olis? Dereneth. Thank the Divines. Sheogorath did this, all of it. He used me. And how exactly did he use you? He promised me power. The respect I deserve. But then he cursed my tongue with madness and let me make a mess of this town. You're so pitiful. Even for a mortal. What? You heard me! I've always wanted to meet a person within a person. Tell me, what's it like? Um, I'm so sorry, Sheogorath. I thought you'd abandoned me. Owly, I left you a tongue that drives people mad. But I suppose if you don't want my gift, I can take it from your mouth and give it to my new favorite mortal friend. No, think of all I've built here. The wonderful screams I've created all in your name. Doesn't that make me your favorite? Oh, very well. Sorry, my second favorite mortal friend. We had a good run, but it's time for your curtain call. Good. You're finally coming out of it. We should reintroduce ourselves. I don't remember how I came to be here in the cell. When I woke, you were just standing there, foaming at the mouth. Count yourself lucky that Sheogorath had no desire to treat you like a puppet, unlike myself. I was in Elden Root when I heard some of the strange rumors coming from South Point. When I returned here, I recognized the signs. But when I arrived at my laboratory, Sheogorath was already there, dancing. Then I was dancing. After that, it all went dark. I saw and heard everything we did, but I couldn't affect a thing. It was a waking nightmare. My own mind, a prison. I expected him to kill us both, but we're here, aren't we? Best not to think of it. Applying logic to the mad god is... unwise. Mayor Olus happened. He's always blamed others for his own shortcomings, but I never realized he'd been touched by Sheogorath. The only way the madness will end is with his death. He has the power to remake South Point in his image, to the Mad God's delight. Where Mayor Arlos goes, Sheogorath won't be far behind. I see no other way. Unless you convince Sheogorath to take him back to Oblivion, but arguing with the Mad God is folly. I don't see how. Those bars are thicker than sword blades. We aren't going anywhere. It seems Sheogorath made a few changes to these catacombs. There were never any prison cells below the cathedral. I already tried. It seems Mayor Orlis found my magic somehow. I'd say it's maddening, but less so than having a Daedric Prince steer you around like a carriage. When they come for us, we can try to fight our way out. If they come for us. Such despair! <laughs> Richer than a cheese sorbet! Well, if it isn't the old friend hunts for books. No, 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 don't look so glum. Or the skeevers will notice. Then, well, they hit you up for spare gold, a few shin bones, your best pair of cheese-filled slippers. Eef, insufferable beasts. They can't hold a conversation. Mayor Aulus is a curd in the soup. A real fly in the way. Don't you say? Made a mess of me gift. A kind from the wrong end of a dog. I tried to encourage him, even brought him a hero to destroy, but he couldn't go through with it. Can you imagine? I led you right here to make it all boring again. And what did he do to stop you? Nothing. There I stood, in my best old lady suit, and he said it was all my fault. Ah, he just needs motivation. What better than an escaped prisoner seeking vengeance? Could you kill someone you love? I can't. Well, I have, but not Mayor Aulus. It would be too pedestrian. No, I want you to try killing him. I 
want him to reach deep down. Below all the marmalade and crushing failures defining his life. To find a seed of confidence. And grow it into a tree of gumption he'll use to beat your brains to paste. But if not, any brain paste will do. <laughs> Even his. Deal. Oh, and one more thing. Dareneth stays behind. If you bore me too much, I turn her into a goose. Roast her, and feed her to you covered in fine agar glaze. The goose, I mean. It's a might bit chilly for my agar pants. And make it entertaining, would you? After spending so much time in this town, I finally know where the Colovians keep their fur hats. This is your chance to fix this mess. Go, deal with the mayor. If South Point bores him, All ready, board! Here, I brought you some presents. The shiny ones are all the best. Scrub it with our blades! Just kill me, you crazy freak. Wait. You're not him. You are dancing. Who are you? I did? I had had a few drinks, and then I must have... blacked out. Woke up here a while ago, tried to sleep, but I kept dreaming of the same man. Wouldn't stop dancing. Can't sleep, or the man dances. I don't want to dance with him. I I'm coming with you. Good. Still have a bit of lightning inside me. I'll help you get to him, so we can bash his face in. Washed it away. Really got in the cracks there. Huh. Oh, you can't seem to catch a break, can you? Chin up, just like the bridge. Adversity is the brother in law of propensity, as they say. Well, a proper hero needs obstacle, struggle, repeated attempts at bodily harm. You're going to play the proper hero, so Owly can shine. Or, our deal is off. And if it's off, so is Dareneth's head. To Skyrim, in a field, with berries growing from her eyes! That was the man, dancing in my dreams. Do you have to lumber a bit like that? Show some! Show some! I need healing! I need a swagger!
everything seems right. This can't be good. This just isn't your day. I can never decide between choice and free will, which will triumph in the end. But why not settle the matter for me? Or you could yank a lever, but that's hardly fun for either of us. I just told you, choice and free will are subjects I hold quite dear. So, you could fight a very good friend of mine, or... You can pull another lever. Your choice. Oh, all right, but do it with gusto. Remember, with gusto, a big steaming pile of it. Gusto, with a smidge of herb, three jots brio, the essentials for a moxie fondue. Mm. Fondue. Hmm? What was I saying? My head. So dizzy. I'm all right. I. I can't. What do you mean, coming to kill me? It's a gift! A chance to shine! To prove you have some backbone that won't snap at the lightest touch! Really, Howdy, I'm quite fond of you. Ooh, fondu. Uh, what was I saying? That you're fond of me. That you don't want to watch me die. Watch you die horribly. All alone. And laughing my head off when it happens. <laughs> no, that doesn't sound like me. Does it? But I'm sure you can work the matter out for yourself. Please, don't do this. Maybe we can work something out. It's not fair. I never wanted this, any of this. Now I'm to die for it. But you're reasonable, aren't you? We can talk about this, work something out. You do have a choice, not like me. Sheo Gorath listened to me. Said he would take me down a golden path. Nobody in South Point ever respected me or gave me a chance to prove who I could truly be. What choice did I have but to make them all see who I really am? My family ruled South Point for generations. But after we lost everything, where was my birthright then? They wouldn't bow to me as they should, so now I've made them bow. It's the burden a true leader must bear. I shouldn't have to die for it. Wait. That's it. I'll go away with him. If he'll have me. Just let me try to convince him. Besides, there's not much of South Point left. It's a bit used up, don't you think? Sheogorath, I've been thinking. South Point can't truly appreciate your gift. But if you brought me to the Shivering Isles, I'd fit right in. 
You want to go where you like all the others? Where you can be a, a shank of bacon in a house built of bacon shanks? No, I mean, think of how I could use your gift in a place that truly understood me. Well, I suppose you'd make a fine addition to the garden. <laughs> Very well, the killing's off. I couldn't bring you to my home with more holes in you than when we first met. Just not proper. Thank you, Sheogorath. Thank you so much. I can't wait to see my new home. I'll send you ahead. I need a moment to speak with my second favorite mortal. Uh, don't mind the Gromites. They always smell that way. <laughs> ah, choice wins again. Really tugs at the heartstrings. Careful with those. Yank too hard and the blood goes everywhere but up. <laughs> I really do admire this town. Shame I can't take it with me. Oh, but can't I? I know just where to put it. We did, did we? Huh. Well, I suppose you're right. Owly and I can always visit. Perhaps during hurricane season. <laughs> That'd be delightful. Don't be a stranger.